I think the video is really interesting and I learned a lot because I didn't really know a lot about adult homes before this. I knew about like um, facilities that were kind of like that, mostly about like nursing homes, but I was really shocked by the conditions that pe these people were living in and they were bed bug infested and someone could die and not be found for days and that really shocked me. And then moving on to the, the roommate part of this discussion is I think it could be really beneficial and detrimental. Like if they are two consenting adults who want to live together, I think it could be very beneficial for both of them because it can provide companionship and it, a division of labor. So one person is, doesn't have to do all the cleaning or cooking, but like our friend in the video, um, Reggie, or Nestor, um, he, he, his, that one roommate allegedly could have beaten him so badly that he ended up with broken ribs and in the hospital with kidney failure. And so that, that situation can also happen. And then that's really heartbreaking and it's really hard for everyone involved. But it can also be beneficial because if one person's higher functioning than the other person, then maybe the other person will lead by example and the less functioning, less higher functioning person will be able to learn those skills. And I think one reason why independent living is more pushed than assisted living, why it's so hard to go back to assisted living, because assisted living is a lot harder to provide and it's a lot more expensive. Like, Assisted living provides nursing care and housekeeping and meals where independent living doesn't have to provide any of that because it's more independent and it's that makes it cheaper. Uh, and then I think Nestor, it's hard to lose. I don't think he deserves or should lose his daily aid because he's doing too well because that can easily regress backwards because he's losing that extra support that he has and he's gotten used to. And to get out of a habit when you're a person who functions off of habits and schedules, it can be really hard to adjust and it can be really hard mentally. And then I think it can be really beneficial for people to live on their own and have their own freedoms. I think it can provide a lot of dignity. But then on the other hand, like our one friend at the end, he found it extremely hard to live on his own and he was not doing well with it. So in that case, it was beneficial for him to go back to assisted living. But I think we should be able to support people in their choices and help them achieve their goals and what they want to do, whether that's assisted living or independently living, because not everyone wants to do either of them.